much, Rich Nye, down in Gasoline Alley, and I have with me the president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Doug Bowles. So how are you feeling this morning? I feel really good. It's like Christmas Day for me, and a lot of our fans that come, this is our favorite time of the year, so when we get a chance to see the sunrise over the speedway, we get ready to go. I was a little worried last night with the rain that came through here, but uh, pretty fired up about today. I was going to say, last night wasn't really like Christmas Eve because you were riding around here in a golf cart making sure that the track was okay after the storms came. Yeah, the team worked overnight. We had a bunch of stuff blow down. We had to close one of our merch, uh, merch tents because it blew over. Uh, we lost a lot of uh, banners and things that we were just uh, having to put back up. And then, yeah, about 3 in the morning, I'm on a golf cart with a little lights driving around trying to figure out if, if we got any flooding issues or anything on track. We had the sweeper out on pit lane about 3 in the morning, so we're ready to go. Well, the track was awfully wet this morning, and the humidity was so high it wasn't drying very fast. Is this going to be okay come race time? I think we're going to be in good shape. The sun's coming out. Things look like they're drying up fine, so I think we're going to be in great shape today. A little bit of water down there on pit lane? Yeah, so pit lane really is the place that it takes the longest to dry, and it was it was puddled pretty significantly last night. It was kind of cool, actually, because you're coming down the north pit entrance, and you can see the reflection, beautiful, like a mirror yeah. of the pagoda and all, because the water was so big, but we've gotten it all sorted out. Well, that's not beautiful if you're driving an Indy car at 200 miles an hour. No, no, but at three, 3 in the morning, I wasn't worried about it. It was dark. We're in good shape, right? <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about this race, the 102nd running of the Indianapolis 500, and a lot of people will say that since the 100, since all the energy around the 100, there has been a lot of momentum created here. Sales are good. Ticket sales are good. And let's hope that today we, we keep it going. So it's, I think it's a combination of things. We have the best team in the world, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. People are ex extremely passionate about this. And then we are in the best community in the world. And the folks in Indianapolis have really just embraced this event. It certainly did for the 100th and have just continued into the 102nd. And we think it will be continuing into the 103rd. We're just proud to be Hoosiers. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you some of the credit for that. You're the guy in charge. And, you know, you're the guy that's, that's running these races. And I'll tell you, you guys have done a great job building on the momentum the last couple of years. And, you know, Oh, look at this place. It looks it's fantastic. It, it, but it's really the team. The idea that I can be uh, out here talking to you and not worrying about it because it's the best team in the world uh, is really what it's about. I just get to I get to be at the top of the ship and have a bunch of fun, and everybody else is kicking tail. I know you better than that. I know you're still worried about it because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> yeah, 100%, but it's uh, this Christmas Day. All right, thank you. Doug Bowles, the president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and we're going to continue our coverage from the greatest racetrack in the world as we get ready for the 100-second running right after this.